What's going on guys? Welcome to another Lowrider Boulevard video. Today I'm bringing you something a little bit different. I'm going to start a new series on this channel. It's a little podcast series. It's going to be called Solo Talk. Not only because it's solo, but also because it's going to be uh, a solo talk. You know what I mean? I've been wanting to start a podcast for a while and have all these tons of different ideas. You know, whether like to have hosts, to have guests and stuff like that maybe it'll reach that point sometime but you know for now i just said you know what i'm gonna start it i had this idea i'm just gonna name it solo solo talk i'll just start it on my own and basically it's gonna be just me talking about just the things that i'm doing you know what i mean within my channel within the lowrider scene within the lowrider world and you know i get that it might not be everybody's cup of tea like just sit here and listening to what I'm what I'm saying, but I figured like I don't know if one or two of you listen, then that's great. I'll just keep doing it, and maybe eventually to turn into something, and we'll eventually have I don't know like maybe a, a host like like a co-host or some guests and stuff like that. I know um, right now I'm also doing the Boulevard Stories where I'm featuring uh, you know people and their history low riding here in Vegas. Um, I'm also starting like a little bit of. Uh, you know, um, featuring like Boulevard Rides. I didn't name it, but I'm calling it like Boulevard Rides or Boulevard Classics. I'm not sure. But um, the first video I put out, it's it was a Crackers video where he just kind of like shows us his car and talks about his car with us and stuff like that, which is something that some people, when they would watch the Boulevard Stories uh, series, they'd be like, hey, show more of the car. And that's kind of like not where I wanted to go with that. Um, you know, I was it was more about the person and their story low writing. So I do show a little bit about the about the car, but it's more about the about the person, you know what I mean? Um, so I started this other little um, series. I just did a cracker so far, and you know where he shows us his car and stuff like that. So whenever I feature someone, I might just feature also like another video going over their car. Like I said, this little series is gonna be called Solo Talk. It's like a little just you know podcast, nothing to see or anything like that. You know what I mean? It's just gonna be me talking. If you guys want to play it. I don't know, in the car or at work or whatever. It's just going to be pretty much me summarizing like what went on in the lowrider world it, based on, on me. You know what I mean? On my side, on my perspective, kind of like what I did, what I'm recording, what I'm doing, what I'm seeing, stuff like that. And then we'll see where it goes. The first thing that I w did want to go over is that last month in September, I started my very first Lowriders and Coffee event. Uh, we did it on the east side of Las Vegas uh, at uh, Anthony's Donuts. It is a local shop um, that I personally go to to get some donuts uh, every now and then. And I've always looked at that parking lot and said, like, hey, man, like, this is this is like a great spot to meet. Um, you know what I mean? I did do it once with together with me and a very good friend, um, Hector Leva, Sugar Mill Studios. I'm sure a lot of you guys know him. Um, we did a couple other events like at a taco shop and stuff like that and we included one at the uh, donut shop and it was more of a gear towards like helping uh i think it was called like we called it like will cruise for food uh, i was geared towards more like we our plan was to have basically to have a car meet at a different food spot every time you know what i mean to to bring to bring business to the spot you know what I'm saying? Like, I know ultimately in the lowrider world, us car guys, you know, what we want is somewhere to hang out. You know what I mean? We want somewhere that we can hang out without anybody uh, anybody telling us anything or bothering us. You know, I understand that maybe, you know, rules aren't always followed. Like, you know, there's trash and stuff. So we're going to try to do our best in that sense. But I figure like, hey, you know what? This is a good chance for us to find somewhere to hang out and at the same time bring some business to to some local shops or local businesses businesses out here in Las Vegas, you know what I mean? And we did a couple of those and, and we did have a pretty good turnout. We didn't keep doing it. I'm not sure if it was like, I think uh, we were trying to do it around pandemic time. Um, so that kind of just, you know, two or three times. And I actually like, uh, we did have some other business, businesses that would hit us up and say like, hey, come, come do one at my spot, you know what I mean? So I think that was, it was going somewhere, you know? 2022 is when I started the Lower the Boulevard channel, uh, Lower the Boulevard channel and Instagram page. And since 2023, since last year, I've been wanting to do a uh, that cars and coffee. You know what I mean? Because I always looked at that spot, and 
you know, the guy at Anthony's Donuts, the owner there, he's super cool. He loves the classic cars, and he, he doesn't mind us going out there and hanging out for a little bit, you know, drink some coffee, some donuts, and, you know, just talk cars for a little bit, which is basically what we want, you know what I mean? So last year, I kind of just, um, you know, I procrastinated a lot. I put that off. I never got to it. And this year, all of a sudden, you know, um, I think it was uh, it was almost like at the end of August or towards August. Uh, maybe it was around August time, and I'm in a little group with I'm in a little group with um, other LV shooters. You know, we really help each other out. We network a lot. They always like shooting ideas and stuff like that. And I said like, hey, I want to do this, and they were like, you know what? Like, f it, bro. Like, just just do it. You know what I mean? And I was like, you know what? I am like. I looked up September and I was like, man, when's when's the first day of fall? You know what I mean? And it turned out that the first day of fall was like, I don't know. I think it was like September twenty second or something like that. I, I forgot what day it was on a Sunday. And I, you know, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it this Sunday, September twenty second, and September. I'm gonna do it that Sunday, September twenty, whatever the first day of fall was. It was a Sunday. And another thing that I always um kind of like held me back. I was like, kind of that held me back was like, you know. I would always think like, man, it's a Sunday, like people, they hang out on Saturday, they go cruise on Saturday night, you know, maybe not everybody's going to wake up for the, for, for a cars and coffee. So I didn't, you know, that's what kind of held me back to, I was like, maybe nobody will show up, you know what I mean? And I just kind of had the support of the LV shooters, all like all the photographers. And I, I, I started like, I, I just made the fire, the flyer real quick and I put it out there and I immediately got the support of a whole bunch of writers out here in Las Vegas um, like shout out to Tiempo Car Club. They really came out and showed out that day. Um, plus all the other writers that showed up. Uh, we'll get a little bit into that a little bit more, but, um, yeah, like, you know, I just, I, I did it. I talked to the, to the donut shop guy and he was like, yeah, like, you know, whenever you guys are ready, I put the flyer out there and I started getting a whole bunch of very good response. A lot of writers like messaging, like, Hey, I'll be there. I'll be there. You know, we're going to show up or we'll be there. And you know, when it came down to it, I went out there. Oh, and that's the thing that I wanted to do it. You know, I wasn't sure what time to do it. I was like, man, a cars and coffee should be early. You know what I mean? Um, I know, I know people are like car guys that do cars and coffee like at six in the morning. But you know, I figured, man, like that's a little bit too early. You know, especially for some of the riders that are hanging out on Saturday night and stuff like that. So um, I wanted to do it at seven. But then I was like, you know what? Okay, eight to eight to eleven. And I know it's like on a Sunday football season and also you know everybody has like sunday you know family time i didn't want to go like past too late so i just did it like 8 to 11 that way people can still go and do their family thing or go watch a game whatever they're gonna do um and i also didn't want to do it every single week because i didn't want to burn the spot you know i, I don't want to burn the spot um i feel like sometimes you know when we find a good spot as a lowrider community like you know, the spot gets burnt like fast. And that's because I look at it like, it's kind of like when you have somebody living with you, you know what I'm saying? Like in Spanish, they say like, el muerto y el arrimado a los tres días apesta. Like, you know, when you have guests or company over at your house, maybe like a little weekend, three days. And after that, like, man, when are you guys going to go? You know what I mean? Like you want to go back to your normal routine. So I could imagine like, you know, if you have like all these, all like, these guests at your business or, or a certain spot where you're hanging out and it's every single week, every single week or every Saturday night or every whatever it may be, like I think it can get to the point where the business, especially if people aren't really like policing each other and taking care of the spot and respecting the spot, I feel like it can get like to where, you know, the community or the business owners could say, man, like, you know, we're getting tired of this. Like it's week after week, they're leaving a mess or they're doing this or that. And that's when maybe they get the police involved and then they start policing and saying like, hey, you guys can't be here or whatever it may be. You know what I mean? So that's why I didn't want to overdo it. I just didn't want to burn the spot. So I decided, you know what, I'm just going to do it this month. And then after that, um, let's see how it turns out and we'll do it again. And man, to my surprise, I pulled up like a little, I'm thinking I'm going to be there early. I bought some trash cans. I bought some trash cans from Home Depot. They're like $4.99, you know. Everybody's seen them, like these d disposable cardboard trash cans. You put a bag in it and, you know, I bought some trash cans, some bags to take care of the spot, to clean it up. I wanted to show up a little bit early to put all that stuff up. And, man, when I got there, there was a, somebody already there. It was like there was one rider there with a red bomb. I'm not, um, I met him. I can't remember his name. 
Uh, my bad. And yeah, as soon as like 8 o'clock started rolling up, like man, like all these cars started pulling up. A lot of Tiempo Car Club rolled deep. Uh, low impressions. Shout out to uh, Georgie, George Gamboa, and Homer. You know, they're bringing back low impressions. Um, if you guys haven't seen that Boulevard Stories episode with Homer, make sure you guys check that out. Low impressions was one of the first uh, lowrider clubs out here in Las Vegas. And they're bringing that back. And they showed out too. Um, a lot of solo riders. I probably shouldn't even be naming people because I'm not going to remember every, every single person or every single rider. Um, but... The point is that, man, people showed out. Like, Vegas really showed out. A lot of the writers showed out. I didn't think I was going to have, you know, that kind of uh, that kind of response or that kind of um, support, I guess you could say. And people showed out. You know what I mean? I think we had probably around, probably around 40 to 45 cars, like, throughout the morning, right, from 8 to 11. Probably, like, at one point, like, all at once, it was a good 35, you know, 30, 35 cars. But, you know, as they were coming and going, like a good total 40, 45 cars did pull up to the Cars and Coffee. Um, and it was great, man. You know, I, I, I said what's up to everybody. I told everybody, thanks for coming. I appreciate you because I really did. I really did appreciate it. You know, I was surprised. I, it, it felt the support, you know, uh, coming from, you know, as a person that was just kind of trying to put this idea together. You know what I mean? And I want to appreciate it. And I want to. I want to thank all the photographers, like the LV shooters, for sharing the video. Everybody that, I mean, for sharing the flyer. Everybody that reshared it. Special shout out out to, uh, uh, he changed his, pay name, his page name, but it's uh, Mike, Michael, and Abby Photography, Abby Lowe, and Alex Visual. And they pretty much stayed like the whole time. You know what I mean? Like they didn't just go out there and, you know, I felt the support. You know what I'm saying? I felt the support from them. They were just there the whole time shooting. It, it just felt like when it felt like it was like, oh, we went to, to some other event and it was popping and I, we just showed up at shooters and we were shooting the whole time. You know, you know, it was pretty cool to have them there as shooters. Also, um, it, you know, you felt the support and there was other photographers and, and, and content creators there, too. Um, shout out to everybody that went. Did the highlight the highlight of that morning was um, was that there was this little kid that showed up. With his dad. I'm not sure if it's his dad or his grandpa. I think it's his dad. I met him. I just can't remember. And I remember his name. But I'm not going to say the little kid's name. Um, just because I'm not sure if, you know, if dad wants that or whatever. But, um, which I don't think he minds anyways. Like, he's been, I put him in the video. And he was so happy to see himself in the video. Um, but this little kid pulled up with his dad. He was probably the second car there. And when he got off the car, he came up to me. And shook my hand and it was like, hey, what's up, man? Like, my name is this. And, hey, I found your, I just Googled lowriders on, on Google and, and I found your flyer. And I found the, you know, I, I seen the, the Main Street flyer and I seen this. And, and I came over here to check out lowriders, you know. And, and he he was just a little kid that loves lowriders. He had his little, like, a Monte, Car uh, Monte Carlo RC car. And I was out there selling my, I had my shirts for sale too. I, I made some designs, some shirt designs. I'm pretty sure if you've seen the videos, the Boulevard Stories videos, I give everybody a shirt, you know, as appreciation for being in the video. And um, which a lot of people ask me like, hey, where can we buy this shirt? Where can we buy that shirt? And I've been lagging it. I'm working on the website. I have the link already, but you know, I'm just situating, I'm getting, trying to get the payment situation situated um, so that whenever you guys do buy a shirt, the payment can come through and, um, you know, we can get it printed and get it sent out to you ASAP. I don't want any, like any mistakes or anything like that. So I'll have that soon. But anyways, I was selling my shirts out there and the dad bought the little kid a shirt. It says like no writing, no low writing, no life. Kind of like the one I have on right now. This is just like a plain white one. This is one of the first ones I did, but I made a, a chrome version and a gold version. And that little kid, as soon as he bought the shirt, he put it on and he asked me, man, he's like, I got the shirt. I got the shirt. I have the... um." I have a car, you know, his RC car. And he's like, am I part of the lowrider community now? And I was like, man, hell yeah, you know, you're part of the lowrider community. That's what it's all about, you know what I'm saying? And to me, that was just so cool. And he loved the lowriders, uh, Cypress Hill lowrider song. He left the show, like he left the uh, the car meet, like just rapping. He had his dad, you know, cruise through the front and, and play that song. And he was he was rapping like the whole time. He was doing the lyrics the whole time of the of the song. So that was pretty cool. I hope to see him this, uh, I saw him at the car show, at the super show, and he was so happy. I think he got, him and his dad got an actual lowrider now, so I'm hoping they pull up on the 20th. I'm hoping they pull up this second time. Um, hopefully this video is up by then. Um, 
you know, it's going to be October 20th. It's supposed to be a really great weekend. It's starting to feel fresh out. So it's perfect for a Cars and Coffee, Lowriders and Coffee. And um, we'll see how that goes. Anyways, the next thing I wanted to talk about or that happened to me um, ever since then. We're in October now. This happened in September, the car, Lowriders and Coffee. The second thing that really like was the highlight of the month, man, was that 86 Cutlass. Um, I won this 86 Cutlass from the homie official G-Body King. If you, do guys, if you guys don't follow him, you guys should check them out. Super clean cars. Nothing but nothing but fire cars, man. Like low mileage, super clean G-Bodies. I got that car. I was surprised. I never expected it. I've never owned a G-Body myself. I'm more of a Cadillac guy. I do have a 64 Impala, and I love the 64 Impala. I love the look. You know, to me, the 64 Impala and maybe the 63 are kind of like, you know, just the what everybody looks at as a lowrider, you know what I mean? And just like... Uh, and TV and everything like that, you know, or the emblematic, I guess, image of a lowrider be a 64 Impala, in my opinion. Um, I have a 64 Impala, and I also, I love Cadillac Fleetwoods, like big body Fleetwoods, and I love driving the Fleetwood. I love driving the Fleetwood more than the Impala, but um, just because you could just get in and go, and the ride just feels so much better. Anyways, I never owned a G-Body, um, and me, my older son, he... He got into cars, you know, in the last couple of years and, and into photography. So we're always going together out to car shows and he goes with me in the cars and stuff and he helps me out with my videos and stuff like that. And we always talk about cars. We never mentioned a G-Body any either. You know, I know he loves, uh, like, uh, you know, he loves, he loves Cadillacs. He loves 79, 79 Coupes, uh, Cadillac DeVille's. But one thing I do know is that, you know, he really likes the kind of like that soft plush you know old school interior like a burgundy color you know what i mean and when i saw this cutlass and i saw the burgundy interior i was like man i know my son would love that interior and um you know i joined the i joined the raffle i tried to win it i joined some previous raffles trying to win when when the homie was raffling out some cadillacs and i'm like man i really want to win and when i wouldn't win um i'd be like bummed out and man you know like because i really wanted to win um, and this time I just, you know what, like if it happens, it happens. And if it happens, like it was meant to be, it's going to be for my son for his birthday. You know what I mean? And I almost missed the live. I went on the live and I didn't even remember my numbers and boom, there it went, you know, like they called them, they called the number up and it was like low right Boulevard. And I was like, man, I was so surprised. I went and picked up the car that same night, man. And a week later, um, uh, for my son's birthday, he picked it up with me and all that. I just never told him it was going to be for him. Uh, and a week later for his birthday, I put a big bow on it when he came home from school. And that was his birthday gift, man. So now he has himself a G-Body. Hopefully you guys can catch it. Um, we should be, I'll be taking my 64 Impala out to the Cars and Coffee. And hopefully he can ride with, together with me. So that'll be, that'll be pretty awesome if we can go over there together. So yeah, after that, it was pretty much a super show weekend. You know what I'm saying? It was uh, the weekend of October 4th, 5th, and 6th, I believe. Um, obviously we had the Lowrider Super Show, we had the Frank Super Hop, and we had Torres Empire Show on Mon on Sunday. Um, you know, I did go to the, uh, I got a video up of the, of the Friday move-in. I got a video up of the, I got a video up of the Friday move-in, the, the show, um, the, the show rollout Saturday night when all the cars roll out. That's something that I love. And then Saturday night at the Frank's Hop, we were inside the Hot Pit, um, which it was pretty crowded in there. It was a crowded Hot Pit, but, you know, um, you just try to make the best of it. And, um, you know, it was crazy. There was tons of hoppers. So make sure you guys check out that video. Those videos are up now. You know, the Friday move-in, the car show, the rollout, Frank Super Hop, and the Torres Empire show was on Sunday. That video is going to be up too as a car show and hop. Um, I was out there taking video and pictures and we were also in the hot pit. We left a little bit early because it was on a Sunday. The show was probably going to go on to like 10, 30, 11. Um, my son had to go to school the next day. We could have stayed probably easy to, you know, to, to, uh, to the end. But I mean, I'm not just going to put it on. He had to go to school because I mean, I was tired, dude. I was tired over the weekend. I mean, I must have done like a thousand squats, you know, they keep telling us to kneel down and all this and like, man, you know, I don't know, maybe if the, if the hop, maybe if the pit wasn't as crowded, 
you know what I mean? And we wouldn't, there were, you know, the people could see. Um, but anyways, that's another thing. I don't know. But my suggestion, I don't know. I've never thrown a show or anything like that. But people who do throw shows, if they just rented some bleachers, I think everybody would have a good view of the hop. You know what I mean? But anyways, um, being at the cash and field, they really kind of like, I really liked it. You know what I mean? That It was in the back. It was in the bar- back parking lot. Back in the day, the show was in the front parking lot. And then it was outdoors and indoors. But I really liked how we had the Cashman Field sign in the background. I was able to take some pictures of some cars with the Cashman Field Center marquee uh, sign in the back. So I kind of gave it like a back in the day feel, you know what I mean? And I, I really liked that. It was like a car show, but at the same time, you felt like kind of like that street vibe, kind of like a car show, but at the same time, like an outdoor and hop and all that, you know what I mean? It didn't, you didn't get that like indoor car show feel. It was pretty chill you know what i'm saying everybody can park and kind of like talk to each other and stuff i don't know i just had like a different vibe um so that was pretty cool we were we, we went to the show i got some videos some pictures and um we did leave early we left like at 9 30 uh we did miss the car flipping over everybody was as soon as i was at home i think it was like 11 at night and i, I was checking stories and a whole bunch of people all of a sudden like oh this just happened this just happened like history in vegas when I left, there's a there's a guy I just met. He's really cool, pretty cool dude. Um, I think I met him through Shane or one of the shooters. Um, and his his Instagram is hella photos. And when I walked out of the hot pit at uh, Torres, he was just out there, and I was like, man, I have this pass. You know, I paid for my pass, and I want to go early. I was like, you know, might as well somebody use it. You know, and I I gave him the pass, and he shared the video, and 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 he made sure to give me credit and put on it which i appreciate you know not a lot of people do it goes a long way when somebody gives you credit just for anything you know what i mean um and he put on there you know like you know that he was able to get that video because i hooked him up with my pass and um he got the video of the car flipping over so i was like hey you know what that was worth it then you know that was worth it to give it to him so that because i wouldn't have gotten it you know i wouldn't have got the video and, and he was able to go in there and get it so that was that was pretty cool this whole car flipped over I think they had been trying to flip it over, you know, during the, the weekend, the hops or whatever. Um, and everybody was posting like history, history for the first time. And that was pretty cool, you know, but it wasn't the first time. I mean, um, I remember, and I think I posted some pictures on my Instagram. I remember there was a straight clowning show back in uh, probably like uh, 2000 something, maybe 2004 in April. There was a straight clowning show out there. Like it was like a sports complex or something like that on Sunset Boulevard, Las Vegas Boulevard and Las Vegas Boulevard and Sunset, or Sunset Road, I don't know what it is, Sunset and Las Vegas Boulevard, I don't know if Sunset's a boulevard, I can't think right now, but there was a car show out there, and, and the hopper flipped over, I didn't have any video, or maybe I do, maybe I do, back in the day I would carry like a, you know, my Sony camcorder with the little, I don't know, what, what are the 8mm tapes or something like that, and I had my little disposable cameras or my little point and shoot camera. And I was always like, I've always taken pictures, you know what I mean, at car shows. And um, I do have some pictures for sure. I posted those on Instagram if you guys want to check them out. Lowrider Boulevard on Instagram, you know, of that car flipping over. I'm not sure if I might have it in the video one of the tapes. I got to switch all my tapes to digital. Um, you know, that would be cr- pretty cool to see what kind of footage I have on there. But that was, you know, it was a really great weekend, Super Show weekend. You know, the move-in, Friday night hop, Saturday show, Saturday night rollout, Frank's hop, Torres Empire videos. Make sure you guys go check all those out. Um, another thing that I got, that I wanted to touch on was like this month I did also did do a little shoot with uh, the homie Glenn. He painted his car um, and, you know, he asked me to take some pictures. Me and my son went out there and took some pictures and we did a little interview with him. I didn't put that one out because I'm trying to catch up on all the Super Show weekend videos. But I have that interview coming. It's not like the Boulevard Stories video. Hopefully, you know, we can do it again and we can get his story, you know, out there too. But for now, we just, you know, featuring his car. Talked a little bit about, you know, his car. He has a Regal. He just painted like a chameleon paint. So look out for that video too. And uh, also over the weekend on Friday, I did meet up with one of the shooters. His name is Shane. Shane702 on Instagram. Um, you know, ever since I started this Boulevard Stories, this Boulevard Stories, uh series my point was just to do something different you know and put people's 
perspective or a story out there of them low riding in Vegas. You know, whether it be you're a writer, new or OG, what's your story in low riding here in Vegas? You know what I mean? Just to put it out there. Um, like Homer said, we're not trying to put Vegas on the map because Vegas is already on the map. Like, you know, the history's out there. You know, there there's some history and I'm just trying to learn that myself. You know what I mean? Um, and then put it out there for people to to see. You know, and just, you know, it doesn't matter if you've been low riding a year, two years, or you've been low riding 30 years here in Vegas. I want to know everybody's story and their perspective on, 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 on low riding out here, here in Vegas to put the Vegas scene for the world to see of what we're doing out here in Vegas. And including in that, I want to do not just writers. I also want to do, I don't know, pe writers that are builders, people that build, that paint, um, anything you know like that has to do with low writing whether and also because i consider you know myself a content creator photographer i mean i don't know if i'm a photographer i, I take pictures you know but i'm not a professional whatever but um you know and i have my car and it's kind of hard you know so i kind of see the both i kind of see both worlds you know what i mean like the writing part and the content creating part so i also wanted to see as a content creator I wanted to put out I want to put out there also people's stories in the in the in the in the lowrider scene or the car scene, you know what I mean? If it's a content creator that has a car, that he's a writer too, then great, even better. But if not, then as long as you're it's somebody that's doing something positive to put just the Vegas scene out there, like I think it's worth showing and I think that that's what my 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 series is is geared towards you know what i mean like i want to stay on some positive vibes and just show everything that we're doing out here in vegas you know so uh the homie shane he's a, a photographer that recently came into the uh, lowrider scene and he rapidly started gaining you know gaining and gaining and, and i guess you can call it uh, i don't know popularity or or um just um I'm blanking out right now. I don't know what you can call it. Just no, no, notoriety. You know, he started just getting known um, because of his good work. You know, and because of he's out there in the streets, shooting the streets, shooting the shows, and 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 uh, he got he got noticed by Lowrider magazine, um, and he's out there, you know, shooting every single car show, and also the Lowrider magazine uh, calendar for 2024 was all was all his work his pictures and there was a lot of vegas writers in that picture in that in that calendar and i think a lot of them were proud to see that you know and we're proud to have somebody like a photographer from vegas like out there representing and putting vegas rides out there you know what i mean and and i thought it was a good idea to to feature him also because of like i said anything that's positive for the lowrider community um i'm i'm for it you know so look out for that look out for that interview uh, we have Shane's Boulevard Stories interview coming, um, and I'm hoping I have a lot more photographers and content creators. I've hit them up before, you know, and um, of course, I want to do um, the homie Cuddy. I talked to Cuddy. I talked to Hector Leva, which is a Sugar Mill Studios. He's a very uh, good friend of mine, and he's actually the first, I can, I'm not going to say one of the first, he's the first person that ever approached me, um, you know, when I was out there shooting at car shows, he would come up to me and, and help me out, give me tips and stuff like stuff like that, and um, you know, invited me out to shows and shooting together, and and that's how I kind of got into it. So, um, you know, I've talked to a lot of people about putting their story out there. So hopefully, they, they all kind of fall in line and you know, fall in place, and, and they happen eventually. Another thing that's coming also um, is uh, Serena. She's a fe she's she has a hopper, female owned hopper. Suavecita, I think it's a Regal, if I'm not mistaken. Did great at the Super Show Weekend at the Frank's Hop. We did her story, too. Boulevard Stories, that one's coming up, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Shane and Serena's Boulevard Stories is coming up. I think that's about it. Besides that, I mean, I did want to mention the homies magazine, Two Tons, Beto Mendoza. If you guys don't know who that is, make sure you guys check him out on Instagram, Two Tons. Or his magazine is Centerfolds. Centerfolds magazine. He used to be the main photographer for uh, Lowrider magazine for a while, and he started his own magazine. And I, um, it's something that just you know I'm including in this because it's Lowrider related. He, I basically, I pretty much got his uh, his magazine. It's like a book, his coffee book and calendar recently in the mail. Man, great book. I'll show it to you guys.
actually, I don't have the the book and the calendar. I have it in in inside the house. I'm in here in my office, but this is coffee book, the Studio Live. This is the first edition, um, and then this is the second edition that I recently got. If you guys, I don't know if I can show it to you here, but um, if you guys can see, is like nothing but like quality pictures in here, man. This is like a like a photo book. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's worth every dollar. It's a basically a coffee book, um, and then his magazines. I have all his magazines that come out, as well as Cuddy's LV Raw. I'll show you guys that too. This is a very premier issue. His magazine, man. Look at this. I don't know if you can compare it. Maybe I'll do a comparison right now. Check out the magazine. This is like the thickness. You can even hear these pages turning, dude. Um, hold on. Let me grab a. You, just for comparison, oh shoot, that's a lowrider magazine and that's two tons magazine right there. That's a lowrider magazine and that's two tons magazine right there. I mean, you know, I'm just showing you the comparison. I know that lowrider magazine is not being printed right now. Um, you know, I grew up, I got into lowrider because of lowrider magazine. I love lowrider magazine, but I'm just using it as a comparison. But this is his magazine and I recently got this in the mail. I got his 2025 calendar. So if you guys, and he has a book too, you know, a book with showing his story and stuff like that. So if 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 you guys um, if you guys go on Instagram, check out Centerfolds Magazine. Oh, I told you I have uh, this is uh, my bad. Hold on. This is LV Raw Magazine. This is also another great magazine um, from Cuddy. Here in town, basically called Las Vegas Raw, LV Raw, Rides Art and Women. Another great quality magazine. Super great pictures. Uh, he features a lot of Vegas writers in here. Not only Vegas, but also um, like, you know, people out of town. Anything. Rides, art, women. It's all in there. Very great magazine. Uh, so you guys make sure you guys check those out. Centerfolds Magazine on Instagram and LV Raw Magazine on Instagram as well. Um, I know I spoke to Cuddy and he's going to hopefully bring it back. I think there's four issues and I'm hoping he's working on his four or five. I'm not sure. Um, I have them all there. But anyways, um, that's something that I wanted to touch base on because it's recently came in the mail. You know, two ton stuff came in the mail. And uh, it's, man, if you don't have one, check it out. It's really worth it. And anyways, that was, I think that's about it, you know, for this episode. I'm really not sure what I'm going to do, if it's going to be... I can't tell you it's going to be a weekly thing because, I mean, I'm super busy. And I got a job, you know, and I got other videos to put out. Maybe when it's slow, like right now with like Super Show Weekend and stuff, I've been putting out videos like a lot. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, ba I'm backed up on putting up the videos. Um, I should be a little bit faster. You know, I try to do my best. So I just want to appreciate everybody that watches the videos, everybody that's been active on YouTube, watching the videos, commenting hitting that thumbs up button if you subscribe to the channel i appreciate you too you know i'll try to catch up on on videos and post more post more often this little solo talk series i'm not sure how like i said i'm not sure how often i'll post it'll just be more as more and like um like i said kind of like a news or like a um not news but i guess like a summary of what went on you know what i mean i would just talk about like for maybe like once a month or once every two weeks or every three weeks Whenever I have something significant going on in the month that, you know, oh, this and this happened, you know, I'll, I'll come in here and talk to you guys about it. Um, just kind of like a like a summary of everything that happened. And that way you guys can, oh, let me go check out that video. You know, I didn't know he had posted that. I don't know. Maybe if it interests someone, as long as I get a couple people that like it, that'll be great. And like I said, it's just something that I wanted to start. Uh, so uh, this podcast named it Solo Podcast. Hopefully it turns into something. You know what I mean? I'll just keep doing it on my own. Uh, I do this because I love it. I love low writing. Um, you know, and when I wanted to start a YouTube channel, I said like, well, should I start it? I'm mean, like, man, I just do what I like, you know, and that's to go out to shows. And that kind of got me, you know, going because I had stopped shooting like pictures and stuff for a while. So I kind of got back into it. And also, you know, with the seeing like the change, like, man, like, you know, there's so many new faces, new photographers out here, new content creators just out there in the streets, like catching the scene that it's like, you know, low riding is just, low riding is just like blowing up. You know what I mean? Like there's so many things. Maybe we'll talk about that in the next uh, podcast or episode. You know how 
I know there's some things that people don't agree with, like how it's going like mainstream and all this and being sold at stores and all that. You know, I could see why not, but you know what I mean? Like I've always said, you know, I know there's there's also things like people, you know, political stuff between promoters and shows and stuff like that. But to me, it's always been like, man, can everybody just get along? Like for me, the more shows, the merrier. You know what I mean? Like we have one show here in Vegas and if we could have two or three super shows, like Lowrider show, you know, Lowrider magazine, Torres, original Lowrider, like that'd be great. You know what I mean? Like the more car shows, the better. You know what I'm saying? So to me, it's just the more the merrier. Um, and nowadays, it's just like so many photographers, content creators out there that are just putting it out there for the world to see. You know, it got me back into shooting again. I was doing video and it just got me back into shooting and, you know, taking pictures and all that. And, and, and it's fun. It's fun. So um, that's it for today, you guys. I mean, um, like I said, I'm hoping to post this video in the next couple of days. So it's before the uh, the uh, October 20th. It's going to be the second Lowriders and Coffee meet. And then I'm hoping to do it again in November. If it, you know, as long as it keeps working and then everybody respects the spot and all that, like we'll keep doing it. I'm hoping throughout the winter and fall. I mean, uh, what? Yeah, through fall and the winter. My bad. Through fall and the winter because we're in fall now and then winter. So, you know, we can have a good six or seven low riders and coffees, I guess. It'll be like September, October, November, December, January, February. And then maybe March, I don't know. But March, I think it starts warming up. But, um, yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was Solo Talk, Lowrider Boulevard. If you guys liked it, drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Give me suggestions on topics. I have a whole lot of ideas on videos. Um, you know, I just don't do them. Maybe on the next episode, I'll, uh, I'll go over some of those ideas. I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys know one of those ideas. Uh, when I first started this channel, I was, um, uh, it was like pandemic. No, it was 2022 when I started reviewing, um, magazines, you know, and, and from going over the magazines, ep uh, issues from like the nineties, man, those magazines were great, you know, and I have a few videos that I did. Maybe I should do those again, where I would just go over a, an issue. I would pick an issue and, and go over it. But there was, there was love lines at the end, you know, and I thought, man, it would be a good, good video to... Just read love lines, you know, from back in the day. Don't nobody be taking that idea because I said it here first. <laughs> um, but anyways, if that's something that you guys would like to see, let me know what you guys think about that idea. Let me know if you guys have any other ideas on topics that I could talk about or anything like that. For now, like I said, it's just going to be things that that happen like around my world or from my point of view or my, pers my perspective when I'm out there. Um, make sure you guys like, subscribe, drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys thought. Turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos. Especially subscribe. It's totally free. And see you guys next time. This was Solo Talk with Lowrider Boulevard.